Members of the board, thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. I want you to imagine that we're outside right now. It's hot. Right now it's 100 degrees. As you notice, right now the lights are off. So it's probably a little hard to do the work you can do this morning in the dark. And it's this hard. And if you would, please do not drink that water in front of you. <laughs> it's not safe. How long do you think our Texas economy could thrive and conduct business in situations like this? How long do you think the population would last before ensuing chaos? Now, sometimes we take the simple things for granted in life. We don't realize how critical the simple things in life are until they're gone. Sometimes something so simple as turning on a light switch an AC unit or a faucet can be so critical in their dark. Now, I don't need to tell you that Texas is growing. Right now, the Texas population is 28.7 million people. So I'm going to throw some numbers at you to kind of put things in perspective, kind of give you a frame of reference. In the next two decades, there's going to be 40.6 million people in Texas. Right now, our state domestic product in our GDP is 1.73 trillion. We're the second largest economy in the US. We are the 10th largest economy in the world. In the next two decades, by the year 2040, our GDP will be 2.98 trillion. That is massive. So I want you to look at the pamphlet that I provided you. And on the inside, I just want you to kind of open it up. I'm going to put some more numbers in front of you. And you can take this with you and kind of digest some of this information later. I just kind of referenced the growth that we're seeing in Texas in regard to our population and our GDP. Undoubtedly, you recognize the state in front of you right there. I'm going to draw your attention to the different colors. These colors, the dark red, represents a 100% increase in growth over the next 40 years. The orange represents 50 to 100% growth. Now, off to the side, that's our central transmission system. That's where the crux of the majority of our grid is. You can, you can see the overlay between our growth and the population growth. Now, down at the bottom, that graph is a little busy, so just give me the opportunity to kind of walk you through that graph. You can see the gray bars. Looking back over the last two decades, that's our capital portfolio growth. <clears throat> now you can see the cumulative lines. At the bottom, the orange cumulative line is our population growth. The top line, the green cumulative line, is our GDP. Now, always closely correlated to our population growth is our GDP. Our economy seems to scale with our population growth. There's a close correlation there. What's interesting is to recognize the growth correlation between our capital portfolio growth and our system load growth. So if we're forecasting this kind of growth over the next 20 years, we can undoubtedly expect that our system growth and our capital portfolio growth will continue at the same rate. <clears throat> Now, so what, right? And who cares? I'm in front of you today to remind you and everyone that population and economic growth of this scale requires critical infrastructure and utility services in order to be in place to ensure safe, reliable power and water. Now, I'm going to ask you two simple questions. Will LCRA be able to meet the growth demands of Texas in the next two decades? And will there be the right leadership in place at LCRA to continue this mission? I'll tell you the answer is no. Right now, 60% of all of our employees are eligible for retirement. 90% of those 60 are in senior leadership positions. To support LCRA's future and the future of Texans, we need to start effectively communicating our story and the significance that we have to Texans in order to attract the next generation of leaders. Thank you for your time.